So yesterday, the Yankees officially announced that Brian Cashman would be returning as the Yankees general manager. And we also got a bunch of quotes from him yesterday about free agency and Aaron Judge. Now, I guess he started, he decided he was going to start talking about this once he got a contract with the Yankees officially. So I have a list of all the stuff that he talked about yesterday, what he said on Aaron Judge, the offseason, and everything. So let's get into that. So the main takeaways were that he has said that <clears throat> Judge has not given the Yankees an indication that they will have a final opportunity to match an offer that he receives. So if Aaron Judge receives $360 million from the Giants or something, then Cashman is not certain that Judge is going to say, hey, Yankees, match this or I'm leaving. You know, little bit concerning there because you have you hear that that happens if a player really wants to stay with the team then they'll tell the general manager they'll tell the owner hey if I get an offer that I'm about to sign I'll give you guys a call and if you match it I'll sign with you and the fact that judge has not told the Yankees that is a little bit concerning there so that's a, a thing to keep an eye out so that whatever the whatever amount Judge signs for, the Yankees might not have a chance to match. So that's a little concerning. He also said the Yankees have made several offers to Judge and are just waiting for his decision. And the biggest part that he said was how they are on hold for several free agents while waiting for Aaron Judge. I mean, the Yankees are really just at the liberty of Aaron Judge here. They're waiting for Judge to sign or go somewhere else or just make his decision because until he makes that decision, the Yankees have just made it clear they're not going to be making any big moves here. There's a ton of free agents that the Yankees could be signing to improve their team. They need help in the rotation, the outfield, you know, free agent third baseman. There's a lot of players that the Yankees could potentially sign, but Cashman said that until Judge makes his decision, they're not going to be able to pull the trigger on anyone. And how Judge is in the drive, he's driving the bus this offseason. He is the one that is ultimately going to be making this decision. And the Yankees are moving at Aaron Judge's pace. They, he talks about how the Yankees would have loved to get this done much sooner and reach a deal with him as quickly as they could. He talked about how, how Steinbrenner and himself talked to Aaron Judge the day after the Yankees were eliminated from the postseason and, and talked about how they want to bring him back and how much it would cost, and yet he hasn't signed yet. So the Yankees are kind of just at the liability of Judge right now. Um, a little bit of a funny thing that he said, talking about how Steinbrenner's involvement in the Judge's negotiations, he said that how Steinbrenner is putting his money where his mouth is even though we haven't gotten a contract with Judge yet. A little bit funny there and ironic, especially if the if Judge signs with a different team. That would be pretty funny. But just more reassurance that the Yankees really are trying to get Judge. He talked about how Steinbrenner has been in all of the negotiations and how Steinbrenner has expressed his concern on how important it is to bring back Judge. It seems like this is a massive decision for the Yankees, and they're treating it like so, which they should be. I mean, he's Aaron Judge, just hit 62 home runs, won the MVP reward. It's one of the best players that we've seen in quite a long time. The Yankees are taking it seriously. So, I hope the Yankees get him back soon. It appears the Yankees want to bring back Judge as quickly as they can, but we'll have to see. They're waiting for a response from Aaron Judge and his decision. Now, the two bits of news unrelated to Aaron Judge, I know a little bit of a shocker. Everyone was asking Brian Cashman about Aaron Judge. Who would have guessed? But the other questions he was asked was about DJ Le were about DJ LeMayhew and the second biggest, biggest priority for the Yankees. So he said that he is optimistic that DJ LeMayhew will not need uh, surgery. Remember, he had to deal with a bunch of injuries at the end of last season. 
and the Yankees are optimistic he's not going to need surgery to deal with them and that he'll be healthy to start spring training. We can only hope because we cannot be derailed by injuries again this year and the Yankees should play it safe here. I don't think they should rush DJ LeMahieu getting back on the diamond. Him not needing surgery, though, is a good thing overall. And then he said, someone asked him the second biggest priority for the Yankees. And he said left field was the second biggest priority, which is a little bit shocking in my mind. Because on my list, the second biggest priority right now is third base. I mean, Josh Donaldson is bad. He's absolutely terrible. But we do know that Cashman is not going to go out and say, oh yeah, our third baseman is horrible. But the he talked about the rotation and reinforcing the bullpen too. And the order in which he said was left field, rotation, then bullpen. So it just helps us map out what the Yankees' priorities are this offseason. Getting Aaron Judge back, then improving in left field, the rotation, strengthening that bullpen. We know the Yankees are going to be actively trying to do those moves. What else they might do? Uh, we can't really know, but we'll we'll have to see what the Yankees do. But that is what Brian Cashman said yesterday about the Yankees and Aaron Judge.